Hi, my name is Talisha and welcome to our Kids City lesson for the day. Today, we will learn about how God shows mercy to us. Have you ever had a moment in your life where you had to forgive someone or be forgiven by a friend or a family member? I had a moment recently. I snapped at Griffin and my tone was not kind towards him. And when I recognized what I had done, I stopped what I was doing and apologized to Griffin and asked him to forgive me. And thankfully, he forgave me and we were able to continue on with our evening. Do you think it's easier to forgive someone else or to be forgiven? We often want others to forgive us when we treat them badly, but we don't want to forgive those who treat us badly. And Jesus told a story about that. Let's watch the video to find out what happens. Hello friends, Megan here. And I'm Jesse. Jesse has exciting news. He is going to see Carl the Crazy Crocodile on ice with his friend Sam. No, I'm not. Sam is not my friend anymore. What? But you were so excited. What happened? I let Sam borrow my Koala Karate Squad video game and he scratched it. Now it won't work. I was about to battle the Kung Fu Koala Master to win the game, and the game throws. I will never be Karate Master. I'm so mad at Sam. <laughs> Jesse, sometimes people do things that hurt us or make us angry, but forgiving them is the right thing to do. <laughs> Listen, in today's Bible story, Jesus told a parable or a story to teach about God's forgiveness. Let me tell you about it. You may change your mind. Peter had a question for Jesus. How many times should I forgive someone? Peter asked. Seven times? Jesus said, not just seven times, but 70 times seven times. Then Jesus told Peter a story. He wanted Peter to know what forgiveness is like in God's kingdom. One day, a king called for his servants. How much money do you owe me? The king asked. One of the servants owed the king 50 million silver coins. The servant did not have 50 million silver coins, so the king said that the servant and his family would be sold instead. The servant begged the king, please give me more time. I will pay you back what I owe, I promise. The king felt sorry for the servant, so he let the servant go and forgave his debt. The servant did not have to pay the king anything at all. Then. The servant saw a man who owed him 100 silver coins. He grabbed the man and said, give me my money. The man begged the servant, please give me more time. I will pay you back what I owe, I promise. But the servant did not forgive the man. He threw the man into jail. Some other servants told the king what happened. The king called for the servant he had forgiven. You are an evil man, the king said. You owed me more money than you could ever repay, and I forgave you. But that man owed you a little bit of money, and you did not forgive him. The king was angry. He punished the servant and made him pay back all the money he owed. After Jesus told the story, he said, This is what my Father in heaven will do if you do not forgive each other. Because of our sin, we owe God more than we could ever repay. We deserve to be punished. But Jesus came and died on the cross for our sin. He was punished instead of us. He paid what we owe God. When we trust in Jesus, God forgives our sin, all of it. We can forgive others because God has forgiven us so much. In Jesus' parable, it seems a bit silly that the servant refused to forgive the other servant who owed him money. The king punished the servant when he didn't show mercy after he had received mercy. 
And in our own lives, we tend to hold back mercy towards others, even though we want to receive mercy for ourselves. We often expect other people to be more merciful than we are willing to be. And Jesus showed in his parable that when we refuse to offer mercy to those who have wronged us, it shows that we don't really understand how great God's mercy to us is. And God shows mercy to us so that we will show mercy to others. And when we experience God's mercy, it will flow through us and into the lives of the people around us as we show them mercy. In fact, that reminds me of our big picture question. Does anyone remember it from last week? That's right. Why did Jesus tell parables? The answer is that Jesus told parables to teach people about God and his kingdom. And Jesus' parables helped ordinary people understand parts of God's personality and the way his kingdom works. Let's pray together. God, you are good to us and show us mercy even though we deserve death. It is hard for us to show mercy to others, but we know that because of Jesus, it is possible. Help us to forgive others as you have forgiven us and help us to show the world what your great mercy looks like. Amen. Thanks so much for joining me today. Oh, and don't forget, Jesus teaches us by telling parables. Have a great week. Bye.